Did you know that when you talk, your body can't keep its mouth shut? And no, we're not talking about that embarrassing stomach growl in the middle of a meeting. Welcome to a fascinating exploration of the silent yet powerful language we all speak without uttering a single word. Yes, I'm referring to body language, the unspoken conversation that's always happening, whether we're aware of it or not. Body language is a fundamental part of human communication. It's the art of expressing feelings, thoughts, and intentions without using words. It's the crossed arms during a heated argument, the high five after a job well done, or the subtle nod of understanding during a deep conversation. In our daily interactions, body language plays a crucial role. It's the difference between appearing confident or unsure, open or closed off, interested or bored. It's the silent partner to our spoken words, either enhancing or undermining the message we're trying to convey. Think about it. Have you ever had a conversation where words said one thing, but the body screamed something entirely different? Maybe a friend assured you they were fine, while their slumped shoulders and downcast eyes told a different story. Or perhaps you've tried to convince someone with a shaky voice and sweaty palms. Not very convincing, is it? This is the power of body language. It's the silent script that narrates our interactions. It's the universal language that transcends cultural and linguistic barriers. It's the secret weapon, if mastered, that can make us more effective communicators, negotiators, and leaders. However, like any language, body language needs to be understood and used correctly. Misinterpretations can lead to misunderstandings, and poor body language can send the wrong signals. But don't worry, we're here to help you decode this language and use it to your advantage. So, if your body had a social media account, would it be posting the truth or fake news about you? Let's find out. Ever wondered how to say, I'm confident, approachable, and trustworthy without uttering a word? Welcome to the ABCs of body language. Let's kick things off with the first of our three core aspects. Posture. You know, the way you stand or sit. It's like a silent business card that you hand out to people you meet. A straight back and squared shoulders scream confidence, while slouching can make you appear less interested or perhaps even a little lazy. It's like the difference between a majestic lion and a sloth. No offense to the sloths out there. Next up, we have gestures. These are the movements we make with our hands and arms. A firm handshake can communicate sincerity and trustworthiness, while crossed arms might suggest defensiveness or discomfort. It's like your limbs are in a constant game of carades, spelling out your emotions and intentions. So remember, your hands aren't just for high-fiving or scrolling through social media, they're your silent cheerleaders, pumping up your image. Lastly, we have facial expressions. These are the micro-movements of your face that give away your feelings, even when you're trying your best to hide them. A genuine smile can light up a room and make people feel at ease, while a furrowed brow can signal worry or concentration. Your face is like a living, breathing emoticon, broadcasting your reactions in real time. So, keep your poker face for the card table, because in the real world, your face is your biggest tell. Now, it's important to remember that body language isn't a one-size-fits-all thing. What might be considered confident in one culture could be seen as aggressive in another. It's a subtle art, a dance of sorts, that requires a keen eye and a dash of intuition. Remember, your body is a billboard advertising your thoughts and feelings. Make sure it's selling the right message. Now, let's talk about posture. And no, this isn't your mom nagging about standing up straight. Picture this. A man walks into a room. He's got a slouch, his gaze is directed at the floor, and he seems to be trying to take up as little space as possible. Now, even without a word spoken, what's your first impression? Probably not one of a confident individual, right? That's the power of posture. It silently communicates volumes about you before you even open your mouth. Posture is more than just aesthetics, though. Good posture can help you project a sense of confidence, positivity, and strength. It's like wearing an invisible suit of armor, making you appear more commanding and authoritative. But it's not just about how others perceive you. Maintaining good posture can also benefit your health by reducing back pain, improving breathing, and enhancing overall well-being. So how do we achieve this superhero stance? It's all about alignment and balance. Imagine a string attached to the top of your head, 
pulling you up towards the sky. Your shoulders should be relaxed, not hunched, and your chest open. Your back should be straight, but not rigid. It's about standing tall, not stiff. Another tip is to keep your chin parallel to the ground. This helps keep your spine aligned and prevents you from looking down, which can come across as submissive or unsure. Practice standing and sitting with this posture, and it will soon become second nature. Remember, good posture is not about puffing out your chest and strutting around like a peacock. It's about maintaining a natural, confident stance that communicates strength and self-assuredness. And it's not a one-time thing. Consistency is key. Make a conscious effort to check your posture throughout the day. It might feel a bit awkward at first, but with time, it will become part of your natural bearing. So stand tall, gents. Your confidence is showing. Next up, gestures, or as we like to call them, the silent yet extremely loud speakers of your thoughts. Now let's dive into the world of gestures, the unsung heroes of our daily communication. We all use gestures, but how many of us truly understand their significance? You see, gestures are like the secret sauce in a recipe. They can add flavor and depth to your communication, or if misused, can leave a sour taste. So let's decode the language of gestures. Think about the thumbs up sign. Universally, it's a symbol of approval, a way of saying good job or I agree. Then, there's the infamous face palm, a clear sign of frustration or disbelief. And how about the crossed arms? Often it's a signal of defensiveness or discomfort. These are just a few examples, but they illustrate the power of gestures in conveying our thoughts and feelings. But here's the catch. While gestures can be potent tools, they need to be used with discretion. A gesture out of context or overused can lose its impact or even create confusion. So how can you use gestures effectively? First, be aware of your gestures. Notice how you use your hands when you talk. Are you overdoing it or are you stiff as a statue? A balance is key. Second, match your gestures with your words. If you're talking about a big idea, open your arms wide. If you're discussing a complex point, use your hands to break it down. Finally, remember that subtlety is your friend. Gestures should complement your words, not overshadow them. Now, let's not forget that gestures are also cultural. A thumbs up here might not mean the same elsewhere. So when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Understand the cultural nuances of gestures when you're communicating with people from different backgrounds. To sum it up, gestures are powerful communicators. They can amplify your message, create connection, and even help you command respect. But like any tool, they need to be used wisely. So practice your gestures, refine them, and use them to enhance your communication. Handle your gestures wisely. They're the exclamation points to your verbal messages. Finally, let's face it, your face talks, even when you're on mute. It's like your personal billboard advertising your thoughts, feelings, and reactions to the world. So, how can we use this to our advantage? Firstly, consider the basics. Smiling, frowning, raising an eyebrow. These are all universal signs that people understand. They're your first line of nonverbal communication. But remember, authenticity is key. A forced smile is about as convincing as a $3 bill. Next, let's talk about eye contact. It's a powerful tool that can express confidence, interest, and respect. But remember, there's a fine line between a strong gaze and a creepy stare. Lastly, be mindful of your facial expressions. They can give away your true feelings even when you're trying to hide them. So if you're feeling nervous, try to keep a neutral expression. Practice makes perfect after all. Your face is the mirror to your mind. Make sure it reflects the right image. So there you have it. The secret to speaking volumes without uttering a single word. We've journeyed through the power of body language, we've understood its basics, and we've mastered posture. We've learned that gestures do indeed speak louder than words, and we've decoded the language of facial expressions. By mastering these techniques, you can enhance your presence, both personally and professionally. It's like having a superpower, the ability to influence and engage with others on a deeper level. It's not about manipulation, but about understanding and connecting. The impact? Well, it's immense. From acing that job interview to wooing your date, from making a memorable first impression to winning that business deal, your body language can be your secret weapon. Now go forth and conquer the world with your body language. And remember, if you found this video helpful, 
don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep those body signals strong and clear.